Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Sierra. Thanks for tuning in. I create YouTube videos for intros and outros using Canva. Um, yeah, and today we will be creating this one together. So please stick around, like, subscribe, and tune in. All right, guys, let's jump right into this tutorial. So starting with a new page, as you can see, I already have the videos that I wanted um, on the screen so that it'll just help me better when I'm showing you this tutorial because once you add these to the screen, the sound does come in and I just didn't want to have any issues with YouTube doing it. So I went ahead and just added them to the screen. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how I crop them and how I shorten them to just get each video to be a couple seconds and not too long because we don't want our first intro slide too long. And I'm also going to show you how you can take the volume out of these videos or you can keep it if you want because um, it will add kind of a nice little touch to your intro if you wanted to do this style intro and just keep their volume a little bit. You can turn it down or just keep the volume on certain videos. The choice is yours. So as you can see, we have all of our videos laid out. Um, and I'm going to start trimming them. And I'm going to do this really quickly. So I'm just going to click on the first video up here where you can see the scissors. You want to click on that. And you just want to drag it in because I just wanted each video to just literally be a few seconds. So I'm just going to drag it in until whatever I don't want added is trimmed out. So you just want to watch it and make sure it looks the way you want it. Okay, so that's our first video. And now I'm just going to go right here to crop. You want to make sure you have freeform crop so you can adjust it how you want it. And I'm going to just go ahead and crop each video to um right here underneath the comment the comment um section just because uh, like that frame how the way that frame looks you can go ahead and crop it even more or you can go ahead and crop it like this if you didn't want any of these sections showing but i don't mind because i think it just adds to the intro Okay, and then you just click done. And you want to go ahead and do the same thing for each of them. Now, before I move on to the next one, as you can see, it has the volume sign up here. I went ahead and muted the volume. Um, and if you wanted to keep it, you'll just click this off and you'll adjust the volume to be however you want. And you can click apply to videos on all pages so that... When you go to download your intro, these videos will be muted. So yeah, we're going to keep that muted. But like, let's just say I wanted to keep the volume for this video. Then I will go ahead and do that. And that's where the volume will be at. And then I'll just go in and adjust each of these videos to how I want the volume to be. But I'm just going to go ahead and keep that muted because like I said, I don't want any issues with YouTube because some of these videos do have music playing in the background of them and yeah okay so moving on we're going to do the same thing I'm just not going to keep explaining you can just pretty much watch and see what I do Okay, cool. So now I'm going to show you how I adjust these to fit the full screen. 
So you want to go ahead and arrange your videos the way you want. Make sure that you line them up near each other and make sure that they're the same size. So as you can see, this video is um, has more height to it. So I'm just going to drag this corner out and now they're the same size. It doesn't matter how you arrange them. So now I want three on the top and three on the bottom. So I'm just going to move this over to the center so that when I make these fit the screen, they all are the same size or show the same portion of each of them. I just want to make sure they're lined up. Use the purple lines as a guide. It'll let you know, as you can see, this one is not aligned with this one. So we're just going to go ahead and drag that in some. There we go. And this one is a little too long. So as you can see, that purple line at the bottom going across is just now showing you that they're all lined up with the same length or height. And as you can see, the purple line going down on the side shows that they're pretty much the same. So now that we have all of our videos lined up, here's where you want to use these white circles on the corners. Make sure you highlight all of the videos so that you're adjusting all of the videos and sides. And you just want to start dragging these out until everything fits the screen. So this is where you might have to zoom out some so you can see the whole entire screen because as you drag it out, there we go. So let's zoom back in. Now we have all of our videos. They fit the full background and that's what we wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and add my transparency layer that I had over it. So I just press R on my keyboard to get this square shape to come up. And we're going to change the square shape to black. And we're going to let this fit the whole entire screen. Now we're going to go up here to click transparency. And we're going to lower this transparency until we see our videos in the background. You can lower it even more, but of course if you lower it all the way, then there's no point of having it there. I kind of want it to be a little dim. So I'm just going to keep it there. It's up to you of how you want to adjust it, and it's also up to whatever videos they use and the quality of those videos. So just make sure each video you can see the video and it's not already a dark video or it just won't look great. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and add in our text. So I actually went to text and I use Carson's Carson script. Um, this is a pro font, but you can go ahead and use whatever font that you want. I am going to show you one that's similar after I go ahead and change this. So I'm going to click on ungroup because I only need one word. And I like I like the angle that it was on, so I kept it there. And I'm just going to type in, first you want to decrease the size. And I'm just going to type in, okay, make angle. And then I'm going to use this white corner here and just drag it out because I want it to all go in one line. Place it in the center, and I'm going to go up here and change the color to white. So as you can see, sometimes with Canva, you have to click on the color a few times. And now you can see this little blue outline. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. This little blue outline underneath, and that is because they have a shadow effect on this text. So you can go up here and you can click Effects. You can either take this effect off and click none, or you can adjust the shadow color. And that's just what I'm going to do. I'm just going to change it to black. So I just went ahead and changed the shadow to black, and that's what we wanted. So with this font, the next thing that I'm going to do is add in a... Um, 
what am I, oh, an animation, sorry. So I'm gonna click animate, and I'm gonna use typewriter, but I'm gonna slow it down. There we go, that's fine for me. Um, and you can adjust this to be on like both, so which means that it'll have the same animation when it pops up on the screen and right before it goes to the next screen or before it just goes off the screen on enter or on, or on exit and I'm just going to keep it on enter keep this animation on enter so that was our first slide and let's play it hopefully we make sure that volume is down there we go and as you can see, that's the second part, but as you can see, each of these videos um, played in the background. And that's what we want. That's the style that I liked for this tutorial. So now we're going to move on to the second part of our intro, which does require a little bit more attention because it is quite a few steps. So we're going to go add our other page. Right in between, you'll see Air Transition. And you can click on whatever transition you want. Like you can click on color wipe and you can change those colors to fit your color. I'm just going to click on slide and I'll keep the direction the same, but you can also change the direction if you want. And let me just show you how that looks really quick. So, but yeah, I want to keep it the same. So moving on. Now we're going to our next slide. And as you can see, once you add the transition, it trims in between these two sections, which is fine. Just play it and make sure it looks the way you want because you can always go in and adjust the length back to five seconds if you need to or however long your intro is. So now starting on the second slide, let me just go to the... All right, so now we're going to build our Instagram mockup from scratch. Um, I just want to note that Canva does have Instagram mockups that you can use, but for those of you who don't have the pro version, I wanted to, you know, show you all how to do it from scratch very easily because as you can see that the Instagram mockups are pro. So I'm going to go back to elements. Start with lines and shapes and click this square. Now I'm going to drag this square to a rectangle. You can do this step as big or as small as you want. There we go. Now I'm going to change the color to white. The next thing I'm going to do is add our grid, our picture frame in, so that we can add in our slideshow. So I'm just going to choose this one here. We're going to make it smaller to a square shape and we want to position it over so I'm just going to go to position and hit to front okay I think that's good you can make it bigger if you want but I'm just trying to get through this part because it is um, a lot of steps so now I'm just going to search frame Get the circle frame right here. This is where our profile picture will go. Make that as small as possible. Well, not as small as possible. Just as small as you would like. I want it pretty small, so that's good for me. Type in your username. In this case, I'm just going to type in Monet's username since I'm using her as a model for this tutorial. Now you want to type in verified to get the little verified icon. You don't have to do this, but I just wanted to add it. And they do have free options as well. Just kind of play with the placement. Just nudging it over, okay. Next, I'm just going to type in three dots. Because I want the little menu dots on the side, I'm just going to choose their first option. Make it as small as possible and rotate in 90 
degrees. Okay. There we go. Position it here. I'm going to go back to lines and shapes and get the hearts. And I'm going to change this to red and make that small. Okay, now I'm going to type in, um, let's say, comment. Choose that first option. Make it small. Try to make the sizing of each um, icon match up. You just have to play around with it. That looks good. Now I'm going to type in direct message. Oops. I'm going to type in direct message to get our little message icon. Go to graphics. I'm going to use this purple one here because it is a free option. But they do have pro ones. And I'm just going to change the color to black. Just choose an option that you can change the colors with if you don't have camera pro. All right, now I'm going to type in save. Choose this one. And make that smaller. All right. That looks good. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add in our profile picture and our slideshow. So I'm going to go to my uploads, go to videos, get the slideshow. Now to do the slideshow, what you just want to make sure that you are um, just screen recording you swiped left or right on your pictures and like your photo album. Just make sure that you the photos are placed where you want them so they're near each other and you can just easily swipe left or right and you just want to screen record yourself doing that and I would say add a little bit more photos than you would think is necessary because we are going to trim this down some like I'm trimming it a little here to get that ending out that I didn't want and then to trim some at the beginning just so it's not too long, but I'm also going to have to trim this a second time, and you'll see. So now I'm looking for the photo that I want. Okay, we're just going to go with this one and drag it right into our frame. And there we go. Now we have our Instagram mockup. I'm going to make this a little bit. There we go. I think that looks okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and adjust the timing of everything in this Instagram mockup. So just want to click on it, click position, and go to layers. And as you can see, the layers consist of everything on this page, including the background as well. And this just helps you work with what you want to work with instead of, you know, making a mistake of moving things that you don't want to move and so on. So this just makes it really easy to edit whatever you want to edit without disrupting anything else. So I'm just going to click go on order. So starting with the name, I'm going to click the three dots, go down to show timing. I want this to pop in later in this part of the intro. So I'm just going to drag in just a little bit. And this is what I meant by I was going to trim it again. Because when you do this, it takes away some of your photos. Just So that's why I said just add a few extra photos so you have enough. Okay. So that's where the Instagram um, mockup will pop up on the screen. So now we adjusted the name, as you can see. And we're just going to do the same thing for each one of these items inside the mock-up and I'm going to use this black line as the guide because once you adjust one thing for timing this will stay in place so you can go ahead and adjust whatever else just make sure that you see the this purple bar and the line here so you know um, how to time everything I hope that's me 
things set. So as you can see, that line didn't move. And we're just going to do the same steps for everything else. Okay. This part is a little tedious, but once you get the hang of it, you'll get used to it. Just want to make sure that line doesn't move. And just to make sure that it stays, you want to make sure that you don't click off of your layers and you don't, you know, um, click on anything else because then it will disappear. So you just want to make sure that once you start adjusting the timing, you go ahead and adjust anything else that you want on the same timing. Now, if you want things on different timing, then don't worry about it. You will just adjust that on its own. And the reason why I'm changing the timing of when I want this to pop up on the screen is because I don't want the screen looking too um, congested and too layered with so much on the screen at one time. That obviously just adds, make your um, intro look better. Like as you can see here, when um, before you go and play it, Everything looks as if it's on the screen at the same time. It's not, it's just there for you to be able to edit everything. But as you can see, when we play it, okay, let's transition to our second slide. Here you go. It pops up on its own and that's what we want to accomplish here. So now we're just gonna play it and make sure that the timing is good for everything. And there you have it, our whole mock-up pops up. And we're done with that part. Now we're gonna move on and add everything else. So we're gonna add our photos that we had in the background. Remove the background. And you can use remove.bg as a free background remover. And then you will just upload your pictures back into Canva so that if you don't have Canva Pro, you can still accomplish this style of a photo with the background removed. There's other a bunch of other sites too. Just Google background remover, upload your photo in there, save it to your device, and then just upload it into Canva. Alright, I just want to look at that, make sure everything looks good. Now I'm just gonna place that here. Okay, let's duplicate it. There we go. I'm going to place it on this side. We're going to make them a little bit bigger, but we're going to move them to the back first. So I'm just going to click on one of them, press shift, go to position, arrange, and hit two back. All right. And now keeping them selected, I'm just going to make them a little bit bigger. There we go. And now we're going to move them inward. You don't want it to get in that frame back there. So just kind of like play around where you position them. But to avoid that, you just go to position and go to layers. Um, and click on what you want to work on at that time. So as you can see, I'm clicking between the two photos. and. The one that I want to work on is now highlighted. So now I can just move that without having to worry about it affecting anything else on the screen. All right, that looks pretty good. It can be a little lower. And we're going to leave these as is. We're not going to adjust the timing. As you can see, the bar is showing down here, but we don't need to worry about that. I am going to adjust the transparency. So just hold down each of them. Go up here to transparency, and I'm going to lower this. All right, that's good. And now I'm going to add our other text, which was let's stay connected. Make this bigger. And we're going to change this font. 
to the font that we use for the first part of our intro. All right. Okay, so that's in the center. I'm going to go up here to spacing and just add some little spacing between each letter just because I like the way it looked, but you don't have to do that. Now I'm going to adjust the timing. So instead of dragging this purple bar to the right, I'm now going to start at the end and drag it into the left. And I'm going to keep dragging it until I no longer see the Instagram mockup which just lets me know that they don't overlap each other in timing. So there we go. So now you can see that um, this will have its own timing. It'll go away and then our Instagram mockup will pop up. You can see that down here. All right. Now I'm going to go back to elements. Type in smoke. Go to videos. And I'm just going to choose this one here. As you can see, they have free and pro options. Just find the one that best suits you. Now I'm just gonna drag this out from top to bottom. Just make sure you leave a little bit of space here on each side so it doesn't go into your, snap into your background because we want this as a layer and not as our background. We're using black as our background so we don't need the extra layer. So now I'm going to go back to position, go to layers, and I'm going to drag this all the way behind our mockup, but right over top of our photo. So as you can see, I place it right underneath our mockup, and that's the white rectangle, so that's how I know. And I'm going to go to transparency, lower this. I'm going to lower it a lot because I just want it to be subtle. So I think that's good. And now we can see our photos in the back. And now I'm going to add in our channel niches. All right. And I'm not going to change the timing on these either. But I am going to increase the sizing here. Go to spacing and drag this out. I just like the way that it looks. Let me go to arrange and make sure that it's centered. And as you can see, it is. And now we're just going to play it and make sure everything is on the court. So as you can see in the beginning, this is where it starts out like that. Press play. And there we have it. We have our little smoke screen layer. We have our photos and our channel niches that you can see here. And then our mockup pops up and the let's stay connected text goes away. So I really like this um, style of intro. Um, it was a little different from the ones that's already on my channel. Let me all, let me know if y'all like this down below. Continue to comment, like, and subscribe. I do have other videos coming, and I really hope you all enjoyed this one. Let me know what else you need help on or what other videos you want to see. And, yeah, join the fam, and stay tuned for more. I'll see you all in the next one.